Hi, everybody. It's Anthony from ComicsEatingUp.net. I'm back with Terry Hockness from HocknessComics.com. We're doing the new comics spec review video for August 9th, 2017. It's been an interesting week in comic book news already with news that Mark Millar's uh, Millarverse or Millerverse has been bought out by Netflix. A lot of people are wondering what comics um, that he's put out will be options for TV shows. But the interesting thing that I keep thinking of is what TV shows has Netflix done that could be turned into comics? Obviously, Stranger Things comes to mind with Season 2 coming up. It would be a great time to do a Stranger Things comic book. The other interesting thing that's already happened this week is we saw Josh Brolin's pictures as Cable. I think he looks fantastic. Uh, this is going to be a great movie. We've seen pictures of Domino already, and now that we've seen Cable, the movie is really filling out nicely. So anyway, let's turn it over to Terry for uh, this week's uh, new comics. Terry, get us started. Thanks, Anthony. Well, here we are in August. It's a pretty slow week. I got a few highlight books here that I think have the best chance of potentially selling out and going up in value short or long term. My first pick is Radlands number one. This is a new horror title from Image Comics. Image usually is safe bet, and of course horror comics have usually done quite well in the secondary market for Image. The big image book this week is definitely Redlands number one. There is a uh, cover B incentive retailer appreciation variant cover that if you can find it, definitely grab these. These uh, limited edition one per store image books. They've done well initially off the bat. They do lose some steam, but these are great pieces to add to your collection. I know I'm going to grab one and keep it in mind. Also out this week, I'm always plugging the Marvel Comics $1 reprint True Believer series. These are really long-term picks, but it's been proven in the past that if you wait a decade or so, uh, a lot of these books uh, heat up because there's demand for the original copies, which keep going up in value, and therefore people like more affordable reprint versions of classic titles. So this week we've got True Believers Kirby 100th Birthday Group Number 1. This is a reprint of Group's first appearance from 1960, and that book has uh, been selling as high as $80,000. So here you can have a copy for $1. Seems like a pretty safe long-term bet for me. We've also got a True Believers Introducing the Mighty Thor Number 1, which is a reprint of his first appearance from Journey into Mystery 83 from 1962. Also, of course, that's an over you know, 100,000 book. So those are kind of fun ones. Also out from Marvel this week is Generations Phoenix and Jean Grey number one. I'm not so concerned with the first prints. I'm looking forward to the second prints. The book's already sold out. And we're getting a Matina variant cover, which we had uh, mentioned previously. The Generation Hawks Matina variant cover is going to be a connecting with this one. It's uh, going to be interesting to see how they all connect in the end. Also this week, I'll just mention DC gives us a new 12-issue miniseries. Mr. Miracle number one is out. Not a guarantee that this is going to sell out. Print run will be decent, but a lot of uh, DC miniseries over time build some steam, sell out slowly, and then all of a sudden the number one is a surprise valuable book down the road. Another DC book that I'm looking at this week, and it's really the big pick for me this week, is the Supergirl number 12. Stanley Archerm Lau variant. Archerm has a huge following. These are sold out pretty much everywhere online. Uh, they're going to probably go for a couple of times cover price. Initially, I'm taking mine to New York City with me, I've ordered like 11 or 12 of them. Um, and uh, I'm going to take them to New York City with me for New York Comic Con and get these signed. So signed graded copies of this book I think will turn over nicely. Also out this week, we've got Quake. Champions. This is a new four issue mini series. It is a game tie in from Titan Publishing. Not a guarantee here, but of course, tie ins could be a surprise hit. One book on the indie side I'm definitely keeping an eye out for this week is Toyetica number one. This is put out by uh, Action Labs. It's already sold out on Midtown, so that gives me a sneaking suspicion that this might be something worth picking up. Another indie book that I'm looking forward to this week is Ghost Money Number 1. This is a really interesting concept coming out from Lions Forge. Um, it's going to be a small print run. If it catches on with people or if people start taking notice of it, this might be a hit. However, um, it just definitely seems like a good reader, so I'm going to be picking this one up. You can see how I rank everything else here on my weekly chart of all new number one releases. 
and you'll see that I rarely give a book a rating of 5 out of 10 for likelihood of selling out. Have a great summer, everybody. Leave us some comments, and we'll see you next week. As always, if you're watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. If you're watching it on ComicsHeatingUp.net, please leave us a comment let us, letting us know what you're speculating on. Um, so for Terry and myself, thanks for watching.